What's up? JP with JP is Sickly Crazy here. Um, just real quick update. Well, it might not be that quick, but a uh, quick update on the 125 um, and where I'm at with that. Obviously, I got a light for it. This is a 4 inch uh, 6500K standard shop light from Walmart. It cost me 30 bucks, two bulbs in it. I am going to get one more, slide this one over to this corner, the other one kind of in same, just opposite side. One's just not doing it, and uh, I got the canister hooked up. Obviously, got the substrate all in there. And I've used, I went and got uh, three bags of pool filter sand, and then I had one bag of Carib C African cichlid substrate. I mainly put that in there for as a, as a pH buff. Obviously, it's not going to stay like that, it's going to get mixed up as soon as I start putting rocks and uh, my, uh, my fish in there. Um, again, I went, I went, I mean, guys, I really went back and forth, talked to a lot of people about what I was going to put in this tank. And I mean, I mean, went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, uh, I'm going to go with peacocks and haps, people. Peacocks and haps. And it is just going to look excellent. I promise it. It's going to be like peacock and hap heaven. Um, you're really going to be glad that I went with peacocks and haps. Um, Again, it's going to be like peacock and hack heaven, people. Um, and then uh, come Friday, I'm going to go to Stones Plus. It's a local, like, rock wholesaler. And uh, pick up all the rocks. I'm going to go through and uh, see exactly what rocks they have um, and find the ones that I want to use and just pick up tons of them and uh, rock this whole tank. Rock the whole damn tank. And I will... Uh, do an update video Friday of when I get the rocks. Of course, do an update video Friday when I put them all in there. I'm also, with the next week, going to be working on the stand because this just looks ugly. Um, I'm going to put a border around this whole stand where you're not going to be able to see any of this. It's going to be flat. Put some doors on it. And uh, it's going to cover this top plastic or bottom plastic lip of the tank. So it just looks like glass. I'm going to do the same thing with a uh, canopy for the top. So all you're going to be able to see is glass. I'm going to be working on that within the next week or so. And uh, it's going to look dope. Um, again, peacocks and haps in this tank. Went back and forth. I mean, back and forth, man, on it. And, you know, I'm going with peacocks and haps, man. And and I think everybody's going to enjoy it because it's just going to look great, man. Um, and one other thing I'm going to start doing after every video, or at the end of every video, is I, wa I watch fish. I watch fi people's fish tank channels. I mean, every day, all day, on my phone, on my computer, on my lunch, at work when we're slow. Um, I watched uh, fish tank channels all day. Cichlid tanks, planted tanks, tropical tanks. Anybody who's in this hobby, I watch, I listen, and I, and I pick up everything that I can. And uh, what I'm going to do at the end of every video is I'm going to um, just kind of Shout out! I don't even know if I want to call it a call or call it a shout out. Just a list of three people's channels that I've been watching between the time from my last video, the next video I did. If it's a day later, or if it's a week later, three days later, whatever. Three people's uh, channels that I've just really been watching and really enjoyed the videos they put up in that time. Um, and that's there. There's no reason behind this. There's no reason behind this. I I I. These people may not even be subscribed to me or ever see this video, uh, and know that I that I told people to go watch their videos it's just because i learned a lot or enjoyed that video or enjoyed what they're doing on that channel in that time frame and i believe that other people who are in this hobby or watching me um will enjoy their channel and enjoy their videos too and uh, i'll give you a list of three people at the end of every video again no reason behind this there's nothing that that i'm getting out of it i'm really trying to give back and and send people to where they're going to learn more and more about this hobby and enjoy videos that other people are doing. Let's see if I get this to lighten up some. It's not really that cloudy, guys. It's not, I promise. I know it's looking super cloudy, I know. Um, it's not really that cloudy. It should settle down with uh, over, you know, 24, 48-hour period, way before I put fish in it, which really wouldn't matter. Um, it's all ready for fish right now. I could stick them in it if I wanted to, um, but of course I'm not. And uh, so I got one more small update 
before I give you a shout out, or let's not even call it a shout outs, just recommendation channels for you to check out. My recommendation channel list at the end of every video, let's call it that. My recommendation channels. Um, one more small update, and uh, it's going to be on my pair of convicts that I have. I will always house and keep a pair of convict cichlids. Um, convict cichlids are what, I, what got me into keeping cichlids, and they were the first cichlids I ever kept. The first pair of cichlids I ever had, the per first uh, type of cichlid that ever gave me fry. I will always house convict cichlids for as long as I live. If I never had any tanks again, I would have one tank and it would be convict cichlids. And that's just me. It's what got me into this hobby. It's what got me loving this, the, the passion I have for it. And, 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 you know, I appreciate it. And it's like my roots to keep them. Um, and that's just it. Obviously, they're in my 30-gallon sea clear. They do have uh, some eggs laid, people. Tons of eggs laid, actually. Um, they're going on about four days now. And uh, you can see them right there. She's, like, staring at them. If you can't see them, like, the bumps on this uh, outside of this pot. There's the male right there. He's the first time he has come out of this corner as of today. She has been just running him all around this tank. I know it's not looking real good. Well, I, it's looking good. The plants are just all pulled up. Of course, I put them all down and they dig them all up so they float around, which is fine because when they're going at it and fussing, whichever one is getting the worst of that debut that they're having, they go up and hide in these plants or in the roots like uh, right there or you know, wherever they're floating at because they're all over the tank. And uh, they go up and, and sit up in there and they don't get messed with. Uh, the other one won't pick at him or her. He won't pick at her. She won't pick at him. She's been doing a lot of the picking though since she laid these eggs. These poor algae eaters that I have in here are just getting ran around. These are not Placos. These are just algae eaters, I guess. They damn sure do the job a lot better than Placos. Placos look a lot better than them, but uh, they they really do the job, especially when you have driftwood. They get in driftwood with all the holes like this. They really get down and in, in, in these cracks and clean it all out. Um, I like algae buildup though, especially brown algae. Um, I actually love it and Embuna cichlids really love brown algae. They graze on that stuff all day. Um, three of my recommendation channels that I believe you should go check out and I'll tell you just the quick reasons why too of why I'm recommending these people. Um, the first one is uh, I, I've been watching this guy and really enjoyed his past couple videos he's done the last week. Very knowledgeable. I've been watching this guy since I've had my channel on YouTube. He made he was like the first or second person that I sub actually subscribed to. And uh, this is a uh, Jay Weiser 1302. Um, it possibly it could possibly be J W Heiser, but I think it's Jay Weiser 1302. Um, I again, and I'll write all these names down in my. Uh, description of course so you can check them out and please guys check out these channels i guarantee you will love them um so we got jay weiser 1302 and then a new guy actually well he's not new in no means but a guy that i actually just subscribed to uh, about a week ago his name is uh sean armantrout that's his channel name sean space armantrout and and man i wish i wish i've subscribed to this guy since he's had his channel and and been putting videos up man this guy is just ridiculous. He is great. He's just great, man. I could watch videos. He makes 30-minute videos, and I watch every second of it, people. Every second. He just picked up uh, a few different pairs of fish. He did an unboxing video. Check that out. This guy has a whole whole garage dedicated to his fish, his SAs and CAs. And this guy is just amazing, man. Spitting tons of knowledge um, and, and and just just great as well as everybody I'm listing right now. Um, I mean, check out check out these two channels I've already listed. Last one is Big Muniz 1-1. This guy, he's actually, his videos and his tanks, and bro, you're you you, you you're the one who made up my mind. I've been watching videos. This guy has some of the best, the best African cichlids I have seen in a while, okay? His, his channel name is Big Muniz. One one, bro. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please let me know. And again, I'll put his name in my description. Um, three three people's channels names in my description. There's nothing behind this. No reason. I don't even know if 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 these the people I'm shouting out or excuse me the people that I'm recommending. I don't even know if they're subscribed to my channel and will ever see this video. Okay, this is just recommendations, and I because I believe the people who are watching this video and who are subscribed to my channel 
will enjoy the channels that I am recommending. And again, Big Muniz11 is the guy, his videos, his tanks actually gave me the motivation to not go with a, a South American or Central American tank for that 125, but to go with the Peacock and Hap, the African Cichlids in that tank, bro. I appreciate it, man. You know, I had put a lot of thought people back and forth into what I was going to put in that tank. I've actually been waiting. I could have went and got the substrate a long time ago and what I was going to decorate it with. Um, been waiting to try and figure out what I was going to put in that tank. And I finally figured it out today. And uh, that was because of Big Muniz 1-1, his African Cichlid tanks, man. And his African Cichlids, Peacocks, and Haps are just ridiculous, man. These fish are beautiful. Um, again... Three recommendations, Jay Weiser 1302, Sean Trout, and uh, Big Munez 11. I will put their names separately in my description. Go below, copy them, paste them to the search engine of the YouTube. Go and subscribe to their channel and check it out, man. There's no reason behind this. It's just because I believe that you will enjoy their videos and learn tons from their channel. Um, again, I appreciate everybody for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, stay wet, people, and, and stay in love with this wonderful hobby.